Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be making a paper airplane. It's 3D. It's made out of solid layers and masks, and so anyone can create one. And I think it looks pretty cool. So first off, let me show you the finished product. So let's go somewhere in the middle here. And how I have it um, is it's all comped into one pre-comp. And because of that, you can see it, it I can manipulate it and move it around as if it was a single object, even though there's multiple layers and stuff in there. And I have the lights um, linked to it as well. I see you have a couple of lights there to make give it some shading. And I think it looks pretty cool. Let's start with a new composition. Now, this is not really an exact science. There are some things you have to do that is exact. If you are making yours slightly different size, you might have different numbers than I do. But if you follow the exact same numbers I am, then you should be able to make it exactly like mine. So let's just create a background just so we're not on black. Okay, so now let's create a new solid. This is going to be the start of the paper airplane. And every single side, if we go back and look at this, there's four sides. One, two wings, and then two um, bottom pieces that come out. And so we need four of them, but they're all the same shape. So we can just duplicate once we make it once. So I'm going to create a new solid. That's Command Y on the keyboard. Let's just call it side. The width, I want it to be 200. Height, 800. And let's make this white. Now that's the start of it. Now what I want to do is I want to create, I want to cut this in half diagonally. And the easiest way to do that is to add a mask to it. So the, go to the rectangle tool. And what I'm going to do is just going to double click. And now there's a mask on it. And it's the exact same size as the, the, the layer. So if I highlight mask, and then I click off, and then I click back on the corner, then I've got that corner selected. I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard, and it deletes that corner, and now it creates a nice triangle. So let's take this, let's make it 3D, and let's call this one wing. So wing R for the right. Now let's go into the anchor point and make sure that is zeroed out, because we want it up in that top corner right there. Let's duplicate this. Call the second one wing L for left. Click R on the keyboard, and it'll bring up the orientation. Let's take that middle orientation, switch that to 180, and it flips it over onto one side. Now we want this to kind of spread a little bit, because it's not going to be completely flat. And so that's with the Z rotation. So what I'm going to do is, let's just go negative 3 for the wing left, and then negative 3 as well for the wing right. Now those are both negative because remember this one's flipped 180. So otherwise, you know, it might be positive. So now we've got the two wings in place. Let's close those down. So now let's take the wing left. We're going to duplicate it. Give it a new name of body left. Let's go into the orientation on this. Now let's go ahead, take off that three and then change that 180 to 90 degrees. And it's going to bring it straight up and down. If we go into our active camera and change it to custom view, then we can see at a different angle this whole thing. And what I want to do is I want to rotate it so it's onto one side and then also leaning in to create that body. So let's first go to the X rotation, and this is the left and right. And let's go negative three, because remember we did the three degrees on the other one. And then now our Y rotation you can see is going to be leaning in and out. And just by trial and error, I found that it's negative 12.5, and it leans it in. Okay, now let's duplicate that body L, call it body R, go in here. We want this to be positive three, and we want this to be positive 12.5. And things are looking pretty good. Here we have a paper airplane. Everything seems to be lined up good. So let's go back to our active camera. And what I'm going to do is take those four layers and pre-compose it. So Command-Shift-C, bring up the pre-compose window, call it plane, move all the attributes. And then if we hit this button, this collapse transformation buttons, and turn it 3D, well, then now I can just rotate this around, and I've got a plane. 
And what I have noticed, though, is you can see a little bit of blue coming through here. So to fix that, let's go into this. And let's take those body left and right. And I am just going to move the anchor point, the first two values, by one pixel. And that should straighten that out. Now let's add some shading to this by the form of lights. So let's add a new light. Make sure it's a spotlight. Click OK. And what I want to do is I want to move this around until I've got it to where the outside, these top wings, is lighter and then that's darker on the inside. So that looks pretty good and that's where I want it. So then at that point, I'm going to take the light, parent it to the plane. Now when I move that around, everything is going to kind of stay where it's supposed to. Now let's add another light to the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate that top light. And then let's bring it down to light the bottom. And it's still parented to it. So when I move this around, everything is kind of lit. And it's a little bit dark, so then I'm going to add one more light. New light. Let's make sure that is an ambient light. Let's bring that down to about 50%. And there we go. So what we can do now is we can just animate this, this layer. And as it flies across, you can see it looks like a paper airplane. So let's come in and uh, keyframe the transform. So position, orientation, rotation. Go forward, and as it flies across, you can see it looks pretty good. Well, maybe at the beginning, let's have it tilt it down a little bit more. All right, and maybe let's do like a barrel roll. Let's take a look at that rendered out. Maybe it's a little fast. Paper airplanes kind of float. So I can just drag those out. I just highlighted all of them, held down Option or Alt on the keyboard. All right, so that's creating a paper airplane inside of After Effects. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And if you create this for yourself, I want to see it. So go ahead and create a video, upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you like, and then just put a link to it down in the comments below so we can all see it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.